I'm leaving for Canada in a little over 12 hours to get on an Alaskan cruise and I have yet to pack a single thing. So let's do a pack with me for an Alaskan cruise. If y'all know me, you know I love cruising. I have been on a cruise ship every single month since December of 2022. So basically this will be my sixth month on a ship. But I have never done an Alaskan cruise. I'm going with my best friend Sydney. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. So let's pack for an Alaskan cruise full of adventures and full of fun. This is more of a strategy of what I'm packing, how I'm packing, and how I'm fitting it all into this large size away suitcase for eight days. So let's get started. If you're new here, hi, I am Gracie. I do a lot of travel and lifestyle videos, so make sure that you subscribe down below so that you don't miss another one. There'll be plenty of vlogs from Alaska, so let's get into it. My number one tip and the first thing that I do before I go anywhere because I never want to miss a single thing is I write down a packing list. It's not specific. It's not exactly what pair of jeans or exactly what pair of leggings I'm bringing, but it's make sure you bring seven daytime outfits, seven nighttime outfits, this many jeans. Here's how many sweatshirts I think I'm going to need. And I write it down so I can check them all off. So laying around me, I've got plenty of these like athletic wear outfits that include leggings and long sleeve athletic tops as well as like leggings with matching sports bras and then little athletic jackets. A lot of the excursions that we'll be doing on our Alaskan cruise are pretty like athletically inclined. So I have more of these than I do like jeans and sweaters. But for example, I do have this stack of one pair of jeans, two lighter body suits and a little puffer vest because I saw that on a packing list and I thought that was cute and I have this little tan puffer vest I can break. I also have some beanies because I just tend to be a cold person born and raised in Florida so I'm not so used to the cold or cold weathered vacations. In addition to that personal preference, I am bringing workout sets so that I can work out a couple days on the cruise as well as a couple different pairs of pajamas since I'll be doing eight nights. One big thing, do not leave this off your list, travel day outfits. I somehow neglected that the last time I traveled and I legitimately was wearing shorts at the airport. Y'all know, you don't wear shorts to the airport. I don't know what I was thinking, what was going on. I was miserable and cold and that was a red eye flight. I have red eye flight back on this time and y'all know I already got out sweatpants and a sweatshirt. <laughs> Those planes can get so cold on red eyes. I also have out all of my socks and undergarments already laid out as well as my nighttime dresses because this is a cruise and I will be changing at night to wear something cute to dinner. I also would recommend packing like a little lounging outfit so if we're just like in the room or doing something, little shorts, little sweatshirt and this is such an appropriate sweatshirt. It says always cold as well as additional pair of sweatpants. Okay, so now I'm gonna open this bad boy up and I'm gonna show you the packing cubes that I use. I should also mention I am an overpacker by nature. I know this by now, so definitely bring in the big one for a week. I'm tempted to bring the carry-on, but I'm gonna stick her to the side for right now. And here are my packing cubes. I have two different types that I'll go over really quick. The first type is regular old packing cubes. These happen to be from a designer called Lily Pulitzer. I used to work there in high school and in college and I just happened to get packs of these. These I would say are a little bit more on the expensive side just because of the designer, but basically they're just packing cubes. So anything from Amazon, Target, wherever you shop for packing cubes will be totally fine. They don't need to be anything crazy. And the other kind that I have, these are from Amazon and I do have these linked in my storefront under a couple different things, but definitely under travel essentials. These are compression packing cubes so they open up really big and then they squeeze all your clothes in super tight not compression compression it's up to you I use both first things first the biggest of the packing cubes this is a set of three and here is the big one this is where I'm gonna put my nighttime dresses because I don't want those to be squished they'll be sitting in here and then they'll get hung up once we get to the state and just here are my dresses already folded up I'm bringing seven dresses because the cruise is seven nights and into the packing cube they go for the compression packing cubes, these come in a set of four. So I'm going to take the second smallest packing cube and put my workout outfits in here. And this is honestly not even that full, but I'm still gonna pop it in there. And taking the smallest one, and I'm going to attempt to do my PJs in this one. So now you can see they're in here, and then this, and just like that three pairs of PJs. In the largest compression packing cube, I'm going to do all of my athletic wear for the daytime. Okay, and here they all are in this one. Like I said, I have an away suitcase and it comes with this middle compartment that helps squish things down, but this is where I like to put bras, socks, underwear, all of that goes in here. I also been bringing this little windbreaker rain jacket that folds up into this tiny pouch and I'm gonna put that in here as well. And we are going on a cruise that has hot tubs, so I'm gonna bring a couple pairs of bathing suits. All fits right in there, so no packing cube needed for that. In this big packing cube, I'm gonna put my sweatshirts. Rolling, folding, squaring them up, I don't know what, but whatever method you have 
have for folding, just do that. This one is just all of my sweatshirts folded up. I have no method to the madness. Organizing the suitcase is the trickiest part. So I'm going to start to organize because I still have a couple of things I need to put in here and I'm trying to see if I can fit it all in one. It's a week. It shouldn't be that hard, but somehow it is. So here's the organization I have decided on thus far. But let me tell you, I already got out my little suitcase to stick two more packing cubes in there because it's not all gonna fit. But that's okay because the only other thing I have is a backpack, so it'll work perfectly. I'm flying Delta, so no problem. But you do what's right for you. I just wanna make sure that I also have the weight evenly split up because obviously you do only get 50 pounds. And then this little thing with all my other stuff will go right on top. This is the majority of my packing. I have added a couple pairs of shoes into that little suitcase, which I will show you and then other than that, it is bathroom, makeup, and hair care. I also have left out the pair of sneakers and the outfit that I will be wearing on the plane tomorrow morning, bright and early. This plane takes off at 6 a.m. Comfort is key on a long plane day. So until I'm ready to get my bathroom stuff together, I am going to leave it in my bathroom and then come back to you guys when I am ready to pack that part. Well, hey, it's now a little bit later in the night. I actually just came back from a trivia night with my family and I am going to take a shower so that I I can pack up all of my bathroom stuff and get that somewhat organized to be put away. So I'll make sure to show you guys my bathroom bag and my makeup bag and just kind of show you what that all looks like. And then for jewelry, I'm putting it in this little jewelry case. This is from Mark and Graham and it's just this little leather case. It's already got a couple of things I think already in here. Yeah, I need to take all these summery bracelets out and then my earrings will go into here and this will be put in the big suitcase. All right, so here is the little suitcase. It's got some clothes in it, a change of clothes for tomorrow, some shoes, and and some more little packing cubes so I'm going to zip this up and this will be my carry-on. It's hard to fit this all in one frame but this is my hanging bag. This is also linked underneath my travel essentials because this hanging bag holds so much stuff. So now in it I'm going to add my shampoo, my conditioner, and my face wash that I just used for my shower. Make sure your lids are screwed on really tight. And then to this in the morning I'm going to add my toothbrush and my toothpaste. I've already got my razor up in this top piece and then up in the top in the morning will be my contact lens container. And I've also got contact lens solution. This should be enough to get me through eight days. And then down here we've got some body wash. We've got my heat heat protectant and I've already put in my deodorant which I'll grab out in the morning. I need to add down here my perfume and then at the bottom I keep extra contacts and q-tips and mini scissors so I will zip that up because that one's also finished. So really just adding two things in here tomorrow morning. This is what the bathroom counter is looking like at the moment. This is my makeup bag which I'm sure everybody's makeup bag looks different but this is just mine. It's from Lululemon and I have just a couple of things sitting in here because I will be putting on just a little bit of mascara in the morning. Here's my perfume and I ended up getting a refill bottle of it instead of a brand new bottle so I gotta figure out how to fill this up before we go and then that will go away. I'm also gonna stick this in the hanging bag. This is my makeup remover and then once I put this on tonight this is my night cream. So quite a few items that need to be used either tonight or tomorrow morning that will go in in the morning last minute. My hair's looking a little crazy but the last thing that will go in there this is my Dyson air wrap. It's just in this little travel case. I obviously took a full shower and I'm going to dry my hair in a few minutes so I'm going to put this in the suitcase after I dry my hair. And the last thing I will show you guys really quickly before I go to bed is my backpack, also linked on my storefront. I think it's great, it's from Amazon. I've got everything almost in here at this point. My laptop, my Kindle. In the back here we've got my wallet and my passport and then in the middle I've got some sunglasses, some camera gear, some other stuff will go here in the morning. A book I need to get back to Sydney and then I have random other things like portable chargers, my headphones, my little AirPods are in here. So that is everything that's in my backpack that I think I will need on the cruise. And that is everything I am packing for my seven day Alaska cruise. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. So that being said, if you are new here, make sure that you subscribe down below so you don't miss any more cruise or travel videos. And I've got to get to bed because my Uber is coming at 4.15 in the morning and it's 10.30 at night. So I need to get some sleep. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.